I am on my way down to Trout's Yacht Basin in Monroe, uh, December the 23rd. Enjoying my nice long break over the holidays, and I have all kinds of projects on my list of things to do or things that I want to get accomplished. Usually that list is three times the size of what I actually get accomplished, but I'm not complaining. Uh, so far, everything that I want to do over the winter time is is going okay. Uh, one of my biggest challenges is not allowing too much project creep uh, to happen over the break uh, or over the winter time. I did that over the summer and the boat didn't get in the water. Um, I mean, I was disappointed I couldn't get it in the water, but I did get a lot of stuff done on it that I wouldn't be able to do right now because of the temperature. It's in terms of, you know, epoxy work, you know, anything involving uh, paint, that kind of stuff. So today what is on the, the agenda is I have made a makeshift uh, tube puller. Um, the last time I tried to get the cutlass bearing out, everything is uh, that I thought was going to give me trouble turned out to be not that big a deal. Mostly, probably, thanks to PB Blaster. Can't say enough about that stuff. It's really, really good. The prop came out. The coupling bolt came out. The coupling came off and separated from the shaft. The shaft came out. All of that happened without me causing any damage to any parts whatsoever. I am going to have the prop shaft. I'm going to take that to a marine engine shop and have them have a look at it and make sure that it's not warped in any way because if I need to order a new prop shaft I want to do that as soon as possible and not be waiting on that come spring. But when I tried to remove the cutlass bearing the I, you know I sozzled on the inside as far down as I dared and then tried to get in behind the tube and the actual shaft log or stern tube with a mallet and a uh, hammer and a uh, screwdriver and I ended up shipping off a portion of the hull so I stopped and now I'm going to try it with the puller that um, it's not a, a I think it's called a hammer puller um, there's a slide hammer on it it's not that at all it's just something I put together from Home Depot um, a uh, screw shaft or screw rod, excuse me, with uh, different uh, sizes of washer and nut, and I'm going to see if I can't uh, use that as a uh, traditional uh, puller and uh, pull it out by cranking down on the rod from the outside of the boat. We'll see how that works. Well, I thought I was going to have some light off my phone, but doesn't look like it. So there's the shaft. And should be able to just pull it right out. There we go. Well, the prop is or the, um, the shaft is out, and that is the cutlass bearing. The way I've seen this done is with a sawzall. All right, on to the next part. Okay, let's see what we got here. Now, in doing this, I don't want to damage the stern tube. It looks like this portion here on the outer. It's uh. Iron or brass, one of the two, which makes it part of the bearing. Where does it go? Too far back.
Okay, so the idea here is that you're supposed to be able to get a hammer or a uh, screwdriver or something, a screwdriver and a hammer, flathead maybe, and tap in here, get underneath that, and with these cuts, pry this out enough that you can uh, get some vice grip and uh, yank it out that way. I'm just I'm trying to be really careful not to overdo it and cut into the uh, fiberglass. I don't know if this is showing up on audio or not, but it is raining like a son of a bitch outside. Indoor storage worth every penny. See if we've got a hammer and a flathead around. I don't have a hammer, but I do have some weight with my plumber's wrench. Flathead. So let me see if I can at least get underneath. take some doing and I don't think I have the right tools uh, to get it done right now I'm running out of time and I don't want to cut into the fiber class and the stern tube so um, till next Sunday this is the damage I caused the last time I was here and uh, I'm pretty sure that is epoxy um, so the idea is this, the diameter of the cutlass bearing should be the same on the other side. Um, that looks like it just barely covers it. And I'm going to put that on the screw rod, tighten it down a couple of nuts, and use something slightly larger out here to try to pull it out. So that's the plan. That's the stern tube or the uh, shaft log, depending on what uh, terminology you're using, I suppose. So off camera, I sozzled another two cuts into the bearing on the outside and I'm going to be putting this rod, this washer, on this end, and then on this end, another nut. Actually, I've, um, I'm going to try to use the puller because it fits this rod, a uh, thread pattern on the rod. So I'm going to try to use that because I can't use a washer on the outside. All it's going to do is press against the bearing. Uh, which will be futile. So, let's see how this works. So there's the nut and the washer. Now, there's a moment of truth moment. I need to be able to slide that through the tube. And if I hit something on the inside, that should be the, uh, oh shit. 
It's not gonna fit. It's not sliding in. Come on. So the other washer uh, was too big. Fortunately, I both metric and English, uh, so that I've got a little bit of play. And this one should fit. Reposition here. goes she's in and the rod is hitting the rudder now it should um, catch or come up against uh, the forward end of the cutlass bearing that nut should keep it from sliding back as I crank down on it out by the rudder that's the theory Let's go test the theory. So this is my fourth attempt, uh, well, fourth day really, working on this. I pointed this out before. This is the part that uh, chipped off uh, when I was trying to collapse the interior portion of the cutlass bearing. So what I've done is create these blocks, which are two inches They'll slide right over the rod here, um, which will give it enough room or clearance for the bearing to slide out as I'm pushing against it. The last time I was here, I didn't have this. On the other side is a nut holding in a washer that slides into the sleeve um, of the stern tube, not the bearing. So it should um, bring the bearing out as I take the top end of the puller I bought at Harbor Freight because it's threaded at a half inch, which is what the rod is here, and try to pull out the other end now. This thing is fiberglassed in, so I'm going to try to see if I can make any progress from it on the other side with a sledgehammer and a, uh, a punch. We'll see how that works. This looks like I'm making progress. I'm using a sledgehammer um, in the engine compartment with a pipe, a heavier pipe. It's a little more robust than the uh, washer screw scenario that I had set up and it's, it seems to slowly be coming out millimeter by millimeter so I'm going to try to catch some of this on camera just uh, so it's not my imagination that I'm making progress here that looks like a golden turd
Success. I've been here since two, it's seven o'clock now. Five hours to get this thing out. Okay, so these are the longest cuts of the sozzle as I was going in. This, of course, is, is uh, my, uh, where I was using the hammer and screwdriver to try to collapse the outer edge of it. like on the uh, opposite end uh, so you know there's some rubber there but even the rubber's collapsing um, so yeah it was definitely time to get this replaced now the point of this was I was trying to avoid any damage <clears throat> and as I resigned myself to the fact that this stuff was gonna have to come off because I started to see the actual bronze outer edge of the bronze uh, stern tube here. It looks like this portion here is all epoxy, um, which can be easily molded back in. Now there's a saw mark. Uh, I was trying to avoid that. Hopefully it uh, doesn't cause uh, too much problem. And I think there's one on top, maybe a small one there. Okay. So, it's time to order a new cutlass bearing. Uh, and then just wait for the weather to warm up so I can take care of that. I really hope I didn't damage the end of the stern tube here. Uh, in terms of alignment with the engine, I don't even know if that's got a... If that's a, something that you need to be concerned about on this end or not. I'll have to check it out. Okay.